this calls for 3.9 DL or 390 milliliters of water which is just a little over 13 ounces of water and this one is slightly different than the muesli because this requires five minutes of sitting time it's got a really nice smell right off the bat and if I've learned anything else it said pour that amount of water in here so try to get a little mix and uh, we'll seal this up okay and now the drinks I'm just gonna do the lemon drink and the coffee I tried the hot chocolate in, the, in a, the last review a day or so ago. So I'm going to forgo this one today so I can have that hot toddy. Okay, and the lemon drink calls for 500 ml of water for a half liter. And we'll give this a stir. And the coffee. <clears throat> and we'll give this a stir. Okay, now let's plate the rest of our stuff. Again, we have another energy bar. We'll see if it is the same exact type or kind. It looks exactly the same. So, no surprise there. Have some raisins. <laughs> Somebody left a comment like, oh my god, not more raisins, but the raisins are one of your essential fruits and vegetable servings that you have to have every single day. So, there's some right there. And there's still a pretty good amount inside of the bag. Now from the breakfast ration, we still have some of our honey sweets. So we'll hang them over to the side. Just because we might have them a little later in the day. Again, stimmerol gum. We saw that in the first one. I'll just set that right there. And then we have some mackerel and tomato sauce. This will go with our oat biscuits. And it's more like a paste, kind of. So, well, not really a paste. I'm sure there's some macro chunks in there. Let's take a look at our oat biscuits. And these are pretty tasty. So, <laughs> I... Uh, I, I like these. In fact, these were one of the things that I ate all of uh, during the breakfast review. And these ones look like they have fared uh, quite a bit better than that last package. Only one had collateral damage. So this is uh, it for the little snacks or the rest of your meal. Let's grab a little bit of this mackerel and there is quite a bit in here we'll just stick it in this one I guess now, there's still a little left in there but for packages like this when you really have to dig in there I don't know why they don't have tear from side to side I mean I could have opened it that way, but it's just interesting why the manufacturers don't do it like that. So we'll let that right there, throw my spoon, and then we had the lamb mulligatawny. And I have to tell you, while I was uh, preparing this and smelling it, it smells really good. So let's give this another 
quick stir. And I'm not kidding, there is literally, it, it, it fills up this entire thing, and there is still more in the bag. In fact, it's dripping all over everything else, but this is why these rations, I mean, it doesn't look like it is a lot of stuff, but this is a significant, huge portion. This, uh, this portion size has an an MRE's 8 ounce portion just to shame so so much food you can see why this ration has almost 5,000 calories in it so but again you need that for cold conditions so let me see if I can find some of this lamb which we've got it right here it looks pretty good it has a nice kind of I don't know if you want to say curry taste, but or curry smell. However, it looks like that. Okay, just to let you kind of know in here, it's it's not curry. It's a uh, rice lamb pudding, which consists of lamb, potato, flour, and salt, wheat flour, soybean oil, onion, chicken bouillon, seasoning, salt, and a uh, sorbic acid. So that's what we have in here. Very salty. So you're definitely going to get your sodium levels. And again, that's probably from the chicken bouillon. Because that stuff is just loaded with it. So then we'll try the oat biscuit. And again, like the breakfast one, it has a nice mild taste. It's very soft. It's easy to chew. So here's an oat biscuit with some of the macaroni and tomato sauce. And this adds a really nice kind of cool and refreshing taste. And a little bit of the acidity from the tomato kind of cancels out the really high salt content of the lamb mulligatani. So that's pretty nice. And the raisins... They've seen better days, but they still got a little bit of a plump back to them. We'll give these a try. Yeah, they've seen better days. I mean, you could eat them if you had to. You know, the zombie hordes are coming over. You definitely could. So then we've got the energy bar, and again, this has more raisins in it. And it's still got that nice sweetness to it. So, a little like Rice crispy Treat, just not as sweet. And then we'll just try some of this plain by itself, the mackerel and tomato sauce. And this is actually really pleasant. Uh, almost, I, don't get me wrong, I, I do like this, but I almost wish... The main entree was this. I, I could have really, you know, done with a whole bunch of that. It's pretty tasty. So, oh, and then I forgot my drinks over here, of course. And this is just the standard black coffee. Mm. Yep, a little bitter, but it's pretty, uh, you know, you wouldn't be complaining out in the field. And then the lemonade. The lemon drink. This tastes just like a good cup of lemonade. It's not too sweet. A little, little slight edge of tartness comes across. So I would say so far, uh, this uh, this brand right here is probably my number one energy drink that I've had pretty much this entire time. So, yep. 
Well, let me try a little bit of this on one of these crackers or oat biscuits just so we can say that we've done it and it looks like we got a couple pretty good chunks of uh, of lamb on there I don't know it's not like these are like really hard crackers that give it that good crunch these are pretty soft so it I don't know, I think the jury's still out. So, it does give an interesting uh, taste to it because you get this salty rice and chicken bouillon, and then you get this sweet biscuit, this sweet oat biscuit. So it really kind of, it doesn't balance, but it just provides another depth to that flavor. So, okay. Well, this was lunch. Let's get dinner ready. Okay, now dinner. This is the pasta bolognese. Calls for 4.1 DL of water. Or 410 milliliters. You see that was like filled up to the brim too. So this will be uh, nice and neat. give this a little stir inside to make sure that we get it all mixed properly. Seal it up. And we'll wait like it says. Just wait for five minutes. Okay, now for the drinks. I still have my coffee, so we'll forego making that. We'll do the peach drink and, of course, the hot toddy. Okay, again, a half a liter of water or 500 ml. Come on, buddy. This has a really strong peach flavor. It just came all out, all over everything. So... Very strong, and we'll give this a stir. That smells awesome. All right, now this. This is what I've been really curious about. Has a little notch right here. Well, let me check this real quick. All right, pour in and add water. Some of these say that to add to water. Oh, that's that's pretty neat looking in there. It's got little bits of little crystals, maybe flavor crystals. And it's a 2DL or 200 ml of water. And we'll give this a stir. And I'm imagining this stuff is going to be a lot like this that I had with a finish ration. And in fact, one of my friends actually sent this to me from Sweden. He sent me a, a whole pack of them because I enjoyed them so much. So I know I made this really thick last time, but this one is looks like it's pretty watered down. So, all right. Okay, got the tray down, got the water purification tablets, disinfection swabs, still got some of these little honeys left, of course my hot toddy drink, and my peach drink. So, again this came with another energy bar, and seeing how I just opened one up, we'll just throw that back down, because it's the same exact thing, I'm quite sure. Uh... Same thing with our oat biscuits. We still have some of those sitting about, so I can hang on to these as souvenirs. And again, we're not having the coffee, but we do have this. 
this is the tuna lime and pepper. So uh, I'm kind of uh, psyched to try this one. Now there's no uh, raisins or anything like that in this one. So it has a really faint lime smell to it. You can see little chunks of pepper, but I would say that's that's real loose on the flavorings. But it actually does have some bigger chunks than the mackerel in in uh, tomato sauce did. All right, now for the piece de resistance, the pasta bolognese. So let's see what we got inside. Yeah, it's got little pasta bits in here. Let's give this another stir real quick. I'm sure, I'm quite sure that you could add more water to this if that was your preference or your pleasure. It's got little itty bitty bits of a uh, of pasta so that's kind of neat instead of like actual like spaghetti bits and again it leaves you another proverbial mountain and there's still quite a few little chunks in there so it just goes to show when you eat uh, one of these field meals <laughs> they don't joke around I mean this is a huge pile of stuff let me hold this real quick I mean it is <laughs> it's like this high off the top of the tray that is that's insane so yeah, you won't starve eating eating these rations. That's for sure. Oh, and I did forget one thing. I forgot the stimmer roll gun, which we'll just hang on to that for right now. Well, let's try this pasta bolognese. So, and like I said, if you wanted it a little soupier, you just add more water to your taste. Looks pretty good. It has a really nice smell, but the smell is really mild. You can see little tomato bits in there. And just to let you know what's in here, I'm, I'm looking at the ingredients. It's pasta, of course, meatloaf, which is 45% beef. It has some fat, potato flour, uh, bran, onion, salt, and spices. And then it has more onion. Uh, paprika, tomato puree, uh, like beef bouillon, and garlic. Man, I'll, I'll tell you, just from having this one, this this ration right here, and the breakfast, I, I, I like the lamb mulligatani. I just thought it was a little, a little salty. But this one is superior to my love for travel lunch rations. And that's saying something. I thought travel lunch was the bomb for freeze-dried stuff. But this stuff is amazing. Now, I'm sure if you're in the field and you had to eat this all the time, yeah, it got old real quick. But because of this ration, I am definitely going to have to go on to the website for Dry Tech and get some of those real Termat, the civilian version of uh, these entrees. Well, just so we said that we did it, let's try a little bit with uh, one of the oat biscuits. And you can see the little chunk of beef or meatloaf on there. Now, these two actually kind of go together because the tomato sauce is a little, is slightly acidic. But, the, but it's sweet. And the sweetness of this, granted, it doesn't have that crunch that you, that you want for that texture difference but it does lend well to this 
and then we'll try a little of this lime and pepper tuna. Now, while you can't really smell the lime on this, the lime definitely permeates this tuna and it gives it such a nice flavor. The pepper, uh, not so much. You can, I guess it's hiding in there somewhere. But, and then of course, there's always the energy bar. And, you know, it's, it's the sweet aspect of this. It's almost like your dessert, pretty much. Now, I am assuming that you would try this stuff for your right before you go to bed kind of drink. Mmm. It is definitely berry. And I would almost think that I would want this this drink in the morning to go along with my with my muesli. I just think that would be a better a better thing. But then again, when you're out in the field you can pick and choose what you want to eat with what. So and then the peach drink. Like this stuff really smells like peach. It's not like that imitation peach. I mean, it smells like pe you would think that this was actual peach juice. Mm. And I'm not usually like a peach or grapefruit kind of guy, but this stuff is actually good. If I had a whole rucksack full of this, I I'd be fine. So, and that's saying a lot. It really, really is. So, okay, everybody. This was a fabulous, fabulous review of an old-style Norwegian fuel ration. Oli, thank you very much for sending this to me. I really, really appreciate it. And before we close this out, I've got one more thing to share with you. Okay, another awesome dude from Sweden had these so I will be able to show you and compare what is in the old ration to the new one now I know Kiwi Dude has done a review on one of these and they no longer make them a breakfast lunch and dinner module so they make these individual meals but I will show you what is in the old what is in the new so we can compare what new things they've got and what things they took away. So again, thank you everybody for watching. This was a great uh, review. I I didn't think I'd ever get to do it, so I'm thrilled to death. So thank you all very much. Thank you to the viewers. Thank you to join my Facebook stuff and, and like and interact and, and all that. So you guys are awesome. So thanks a lot. Bye.